Evaluating functions. Bago tayo mag-proceed sa mga examples, tingnan muna natin itong mga classification ng polynomial functions. Ang polynomial function can be classified according to the degree. So halimbawa, sa linear function, dapat ang highest degree or highest exponent ay 1. For quadratic, ang highest exponent dapat ay 2, while for cubic function, the highest exponent must be 3. Magbigay tayo ng halimbawa sa bawat function na ito. Simulan natin sa linear function. Halimbawa, ang given ay f of x is equal to 5x plus 7 when x is equal to negative 4. Evaluate natin tong function na to given that x is equal to negative 4. So to do that, substitute lang natin. So instead of writing f of x, dahil meron tayong value ng x which is negative 4, yun yung gagamitin natin. It will be f of negative 4 equals... Substitute lang natin yung value ng x dito sa ating function. 5x will become 5 times negative 4. Pinalitan lang natin yung variable x ng negative 4. Galing dito. Then after that, just copy plus 7. Let's write plus 7. Then so, so we have 5 times negative 4. Pag pinagmultiply natin yan, magkaiba ng sign. Ibig sabihin, negative yung magiging sagot. And 5 times 4 is equal to 20. Then copy, positive 7. Then solve this to negative 20 plus 7, different sign sila, kailangan yung mag-subtract. So 20 and 7, kapag pinag-subtract, you will have 13. While the sign, kailangan nyo siyang copyin sa mas mataas na absolute value. So pag kinuha natin yung absolute value, mas mataas yung 20. It means we need to copy the sign of 20, which is negative. So, the answer is negative 13 when x is negative 4. Another example for linear function. The same given, but this time, x is equal to 0. So, to solve for that, it will be f of 0, that's the value of x, then substitute lang natin sa function. So, magiging 5 times 0. Pinalitan lang natin yung x. So, 5x became 5 times 0. Copy positive 7. Then, solve. 5 times 0, that will be 0, copy positive 7, or the answer is just positive 7. So if the value of x is 0, this function is equal to positive 7. Paano naman kapag quadratic function? So we have here f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 5 when x is equal to negative 7. So we'll use the value of x, which is negative 7, to solve for this. Let's substitute. So instead of writing f of x, we will write f of negative 7. Then substitute, x square will become negative 7 square because that is the value of x. Then next is positive 2x magiging plus 2 times negative 7. So yung 2x, tinanggal na natin yung x at pinalitan natin ng negative 7. Then last term, constant, copy lang yung positive 5. Let's solve. Mag-start tayo dito sa negative 7 square. So, negative 7 square is the same with negative 7 times negative 7. When you are multiplying two negative numbers, ang sagot ay nagiging positive. So, nakakancel out yung negative sign. It means 7 times 7 magiging positive 49. Then after that, ito naman, positive 2 times negative 7. Since magkaiba ng sign, positive yung 2 at negative yung 7, your answer must be negative. Then 7 times 2 or 2 times 7, that is equal to 14. Then just copy positive 5. Positive 5. Solve. Magsimula tayo dito sa 49 minus 14. So 49 minus 14, that is equal to 35. Then copy positive 5 plus 5. So 35 plus 5 will give us an answer of positive 40. So the value of this function, given x is negative 7, is equal to positive 40. Try naman natin ang cubic function. So given that, f of x is equal to x cubed plus 4x when x is equal to negative 3. Let's just substitute. f of x, lalagay na natin ay f of 3. Dahil yun yung value ng x. Equals x cubed. So ibig sabihin, yung value ng x which is 3, ay erase natin sa 3. So magiging 3 cubed plus, copy lang yung 4 then, palitan natin yung x ng 3. So, dalawing sinubstitute natin. Yung x sa x cube, naging 3 cube. Then, yung x sa 4x, naging 4 times 3. Then, solve natin. Dito tayo muna sa exponent. 
3 raised to 3. This is the same with multiplying 3, 3, and 3. That long basis. So 3 times 3, that's 9. Times another 3, that's 27. So we got 27 as the value of 3 cubed. Then solve this one. Positive 4 times 3, that is equal to positive 12. Then just add this to 27 plus 12, that is equal to 39. So the value of this function given x is equal to 3 is equal to 39.